Hello my friends, need some sort of wood texture for your cosplays but want to practically apply it anywhere like on these craft foam horns? Well, here's my technique on how to do that. Alright, let's get started. The materials you're gonna need is some sort of base you're gonna put your texture on, like this craft foam for example, some wood glue, the brand I'm using is from Tidebond, not sponsored. One of my favorite items, this lightweight spackling, this brand is from Toolbench Hardware, also not sponsored a fork from Wendy's, and also a popsicle stick. Now, if you're wondering what spackling is, it's pretty much used for filling in cracks, holes in the wood, plaster, and drywall. The type I have right now is super light, but it's really brittle on its own. And what you're gonna do is grab a little spackling with your popsicle stick, put it on your tray, or my, the lid, and grab a little bit of wood glue, just like a tiny scoop of it, you know, with your popsicle stick. You can always change the ratio, but going little by little with the wood glue helps a lot. Spackling. Wood glue. Spackling wood glue. It might seem like a lot of spackling per wood glue, but trust me on this, once you like mix it a lot, it will become more of a nice consistency. Add the desired amount of wood glue. There's no specific science to this, but just like baking, just get it to about this consistency and then just paste it on there just like butter on toast. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just add some parts thicker, some parts thinner. When you see tree bark, you don't see a perfectly smooth tree bark, you know? So just go with your artistic abilities. Once you're done putting your paste on your base, it's time to give it the wood texture. Whip out your Wendy's fork and just go to town with it, just scratch it. So you scratched it up, but maybe you don't like that texture where it's kind of smooth. So let it dry for a bit and then scratch it again. It'll give you a more clumpy, rough texture. So you finished making your texture, but there were too many clumps that were sticking out. Well that's alright, just get your sander and just sand it off. Now it's for the painting stage. Just grab your acrylic and just go to town with it. Make sure you get all the little crevices and it doesn't matter if it's uneven or not. Remember, wood textures, they're very uneven. Now you're pretty much finished at this stage, but if you want to add a more weathering effect, stick around for the next step. To weather something, you're gonna want it to make it look older, to make it look like it has been worn by the elements. So I like to use my favorite acrylic paint, the Apple Barrel Black, because I feel like this brand really brings out the weatheredness to armors and wood. What you're gonna do is grab your black acrylic paint and just grab a little dab of it. Quickly spread it over your texture, and then use your bounty and just scrub it out of there. And this is your final product. Now you're finally able to put any sort of wood texture onto any sort of base, really. But just on a side note, in case you do this, make sure when you're starting out, you don't start on a flat surface if you're gonna curve it later because the spackling will crack in the future since it's brittle. So in my case, when I did my horns, I already made my horns first with craft foam and then I added the wood texture. So please keep that in mind when you're making some sort of wood armor or something like that. Anyway, subscribe and like with the notification bell and I hope to see you later. Take care.